variables. This is so, so key. Um, a dependent variable changes in response to the independent variable. It depends on the independent variable and it is always on the y-axis. It is very, very important. If you make your graph with your dependent variable on the x-axis, your graph will be wrong and I will not give you credit for it and I will make you do it over. This is really important. Okay, you lose major points for mixing these up. The independent variable is the thing that is changed or manipulated and I think about it as um, what depends on what. Okay, so your distance, let's say you're driving, the distance you travel depends on how long you've been going because the longer you've been driving, the farther distance you will travel. A little hint, time always goes on the x-axis. So if you get some data with time, you're really, really lucky because time is always on the x-axis. So it's really easy to figure out the independent variable because it's always time. And then the other thing is always your dependent. But this is really key. Okay, how to make your graph. Um, I'm going to put a pin cast up um, that I'm going to give you guys. And your pin, the pin cast, I'll actually make a graph on graph paper just like you guys would. And um, that, that'll probably be a little bit easier than this one. But anyway, you want to label your x-axis with your, um, these are opposite. Your x-axis is always going to have your independent variable. Okay, and your y-axis is going to have the dependent variable. Then you want to pick an even amount. It doesn't necessarily mean an even number like 2, 4, 6, 8, but you do want to have an even amount. You don't want to have like 2, 10, 11, 15, 25. You want the distance, um, the amount in between each number to be the same. Otherwise, your graph will be really weird and you won't be able to see trends in your data, which is the whole point of a graph is to see trends in your data. Okay, um, if I give you a whole piece of graph paper, okay, fill up the graph paper with your graph. I see people and they make these little teeny tiny graphs right here. Okay, fill up your graph paper, make it as easy as possible to read. Okay, um, plot your data. Um, I'm sure you guys have done that before, but we'll practice it. And then connect the dots if you need to, or, and we'll talk about this later, make a best fit line and then give a title for your graph. If you have a graph like this, you're allowed to say like distance versus time is your title. It doesn't have to be like something super creative or anything like that. It can be really simple. So um, we've got um, this sort of graphish paper um, and this is our data. We have a time and we know that time always goes on the bottom because it is always the independent variable. Okay, and we can label it um, from 0 to 100. It looks like we'll probably have enough space. Let's try 10s. If not, you can always erase. Okay, I would always make your graphs with pencils. I would, I would do most of your work in physics with a pencil because I'm not perfect and neither are you. And so it's much easier to fix a mistake that you've made with a pencil than a mistake that you've made with, uh, without a pencil, with a pen. Okay, and now we have this distance 0 to 10. Let's try um, just 1s, like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay, I'm just going to plot my data at 0, 0, at 30 seconds, gone 2 meters, 75 seconds, gone, I'm going to kind of draw a dotted line coming up from this. Remember, if I'm using a pencil, I can always erase it. And I'll take 6. Then at 100,
Again, you're allowed to draw these dotted lines. Okay, if I'm making a line graph, I'll just connect my dots. You noticed, you may have noticed I missed something right here. I forgot to label distance. Okay, if I had turned in my graph like that, I would have lost major points. Okay, so um, when you finish your graph, just take a couple seconds to like look back over it and make sure that it's got everything you need. Okay, um, it's you can forget things just like I did and you can go back and fix it, but if you don't take that little extra time to go back and look for it, um, you would have left it that way and you would have left, you know, you would have missed a ton of points. So just keep that in mind.